present moment versus past and future. Our capacity to exert influence, for the most part, is confined to the present moment, the juncture at which we can make decisions. Yet even this notion is contested by determinists who would strip us of our free will. They argue that our actions are merely the unfolding of preordained events, leaving little room for us to shape our destiny in the present. We indeed possess the power to modify our past, not in its objective reality, but within our minds. Quite frequently, we engage in this form of mental time travel, reshaping bygone events into mythical narratives shaped by the current perspective. Our memory is a fascinating and fallible aspect of our cognitive apparatus. It holds the key to our past, yet it is far from a perfect recorder of events. Memory distortion is a natural and inherent phenomenon in which we reconstruct the past based on our current understanding, emotions, and biases. Our recollections are not precise replicas of what actually transpired but rather subjective interpretations colored by the lens of our present perception. As time passes, memories can become fragmented, details blurred, and experiences embellished or altered. This inherent malleability of memory raises questions about the reliability of our past narratives and challenges the notion of a fixed, objective historical truth. Nostalgia and regret, intertwined emotions rooted in our connection to the past, further complicate our relationship with memory. Nostalgia, often romanticized and bittersweet, invokes a sentimental longing for moments gone by, fueling a desire to relive or recreate the past. It can be comforting to revisit fond memories and relish in the warmth they evoke. On the other hand, regret emerges from a sense of missed opportunities or actions that could have been different. It stems from the illusion that we could have made alternative choices or taken different paths, burdening us with what-ifs and an emotional weight. Both nostalgia and regret reveal the emotional ties we form with the past, reminding us of the power our memories hold over our present state of mind. Unresolved past traumas further contribute to the complex interplay between memory and the present moment. Painful experiences from our history can linger in our subconscious, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in the present. These psychological wounds, if left unaddressed, may exert a significant impact on our well-being and hinder our ability to fully engage with the present. Acknowledging and processing these past traumas is crucial for healing and cultivating a healthier relationship with our memories, enabling us to navigate the present with greater clarity and emotional resilience. As for the future, we certainly can draft plans. Sometimes these plans bear accurate results, but all too often, they fall apart, underscoring our limited control over forthcoming events. Despite our best efforts, the future often unfolds with a mind of its own, showing that the present moment is our most substantial dominion. The illusion of control casts a captivating spell over our lives, particularly when it comes to our plans for the future. We are prone to meticulously crafting detailed blueprints, convinced that by mapping out every step, we can steer our lives towards the desired outcomes. However, the harsh reality often reveals a stark deviation from our carefully laid plans. Circumstances change, unexpected events unfold, and the unpredictable nature of life disrupts our illusions of control. Our dreams and aspirations can become entangled in the web of uncertainty, leaving us grappling with the discrepancy between our envisioned future and the unfolding reality. Recognizing the fallibility of our control and embracing the inherent unpredictability of the future can free us from the grip of disillusionment, allowing us to adapt and find resilience in the face of unexpected twists and turns. Anxiety, a ubiquitous companion on our journey through life, often becomes intricately intertwined with our perceptions of the future. Fear and uncertainty shape our expectations, influencing the lens through which we view what lies ahead. Worries about potential setbacks, failure, or the unknown can breed apprehension, inhibiting our ability to fully engage with the present and stunning our growth. Yet, it is essential to recognize that our anxieties about the future are not absolute truths, but rather projections of our fears and insecurities. By cultivating awareness and actively managing our anxieties, we can reframe our relationship with the future. Embracing a mindset of openness, curiosity, and resilience can help us navigate the uncertainties, transforming our anxieties into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Surprisingly, our ability is most compromised when we try to concentrate on the present moment. This is the very instance when optimal decisions should be made, leading to the most fulfilling rendition of our lives. However, we often fall prey to the illusion of laboring for the future, hoarding material and immaterial resources alike. Experience reveals the volatility of this approach, as plans and circumstances shift. Resources, left unused in the present, may become inaccessible or even provoke disputes and distress in the future. This largely stems from the illusion of becoming servants to accumulated wealth. Still, many will dispute this perspective, entrenched as they are in a life principle that champions saving for the future. This belief, common in our society, affirms the practice of relentlessly accumulating resources for tomorrow, 
often at the expense of fully experiencing today. The discrepancy between this widely held belief and the concept of focusing on the present, making the most of now, creates a fascinating rift in contemporary thought. The concept of time has been a subject of philosophical debate for centuries, with two predominant viewpoints standing out, presentism and eternalism. Each offers a unique interpretation of how we understand and interact with the temporal aspects of our existence. Presentism posits that only the present moment exists, whereas the past and future are mere conceptual constructs. According to this perspective, our reality is a single, fleeting moment that is constantly updating and renewing itself. This philosophy aligns well with the mindfulness principles, emphasizing the importance of engaging fully with the present moment. The now is not merely a transitionary state between past and future but instead, the only tangible reality we have. On the other hand, eternalism proposes that past, present, and future all coexist equally, rendering time more akin to a spatial dimension. In this view, events are not transient or ephemeral but instead form an ever-present block of time. This suggests that our perception of the present moment as real and the past and future is less real as an illusion crafted by our conscious experience. By implying that all points in time are equally real and exist concurrently, eternalism challenges the focus on the present moment by considering it as merely a slice of the vast temporal block. The contest between these two viewpoints reveals the complexities of our relationship with time. It opens a dialogue about our understanding of reality, the nature of our existence, and how we should live our lives, making it a compelling area of exploration in our discussion of the present moment versus the past and future. The repercussions of disregarding the present moment in favor of dwelling on the past or fixating on the future are manifold. By neglecting the present, we miss out on the richness and depth of our current experiences. We become mere spectators in our own lives, disconnected from the beauty and opportunities that unfold right before our eyes. Dwelling on the past can be a seductive trap, as we immerse ourselves in nostalgic memories or ruminate over past regrets. This fixation on what has already transpired can prevent us from fully embracing the present, inhibiting personal growth and trapping us in a cycle of stagnation. Similarly, becoming consumed by thoughts of the future can lead to a perpetual state of anticipation, as we constantly strive for a better tomorrow. While it is essential to plan and prepare for the future, fixating solely on what lies ahead can create a sense of restlessness and dissatisfaction in the present. By failing to appreciate the present moment, we inadvertently sacrifice our ability to savor the simple joys, find contentment, and make the most of the here and now. Moreover, ignoring the present in favor of dwelling in the past or fixating on the future can have profound effects on our overall well-being. Constantly ruminating about what has been or anxiously yearning for what could be places a heavy burden on our mental and emotional states. It perpetuates feelings of dissatisfaction, regret, and longing, eroding our capacity for true happiness and inner peace. Our physical health can also suffer as chronic stress and anxiety take their toll on our bodies. By neglecting the present, we deny ourselves the opportunity to prioritize self-care, cultivate healthy relationships, and engage in activities that bring us joy and fulfillment. Ultimately, the consequences of forsaking the present moment extend far beyond missed opportunities, they deprive us of the very essence of life itself. Undeniably, structuring one's life in the present moment is of paramount importance. It involves delineating our priorities, identifying what matters to us, and discerning our likes and dislikes. This clarity aids us in carrying out the necessary tasks without postponing them. The approach here is not about relentless focus on a single task, but instead periodically switching between them. This oscillation enhances our engagement with each task and prevents fatigue from sustained attention on a single endeavor. It's crucial to note that this is not about designing intricate future plans, an endeavor which can easily spiral into an endless exercise. The focus here lies in architecting the present moment. This emphasis on the now enables us to live more fully, utilizing our time and energy most effectively. By building our present moment with careful consideration, we mold our immediate experience to reflect our priorities and preferences, setting the stage for a fulfilling and authentic life. For practicality, one could conceptualize life as composed of several facets, career, personal life, creativity, recreation, and so forth. Each facet deserves our attention and cultivation. For our career, we should assess what we wish to pursue and what we wish to avoid, and then identify the steps to realize these career goals. The common rebuttal to this approach would be the apparent need for abundant resources, energy, and favorable circumstances, which, to many, seem perpetually elusive. However, this belief isn't entirely accurate. The act of reaching our goals often begins with small, achievable steps within our current means. Aspiring to become an astronaut? One could start a YouTube channel discussing space exploration. In search of love? Pen poetry, write books, paint, create. 
The vital element here is to initiate action, instead of indefinitely postponing these endeavors for a more suitable future time. It's crucial to comprehend that the deferred then may never arrive. The practice of focusing on the present moment and beginning to act on our desires can, paradoxically, lead us closer to our future goals. This structure aids in managing the complexity of life, enabling us to focus our energy in targeted ways and ensuring that we are engaging with all aspects of life that are significant to us. Such a mindful approach to the present has the potential to not only enrich our current experience but also shape our future to better align with our aspirations. Cultivating the art of living in the present moment, or achieving mindfulness, is a journey that encompasses various strategies, each honing our ability to focus on the now. To begin, one may engage in simple mindfulness exercises. These could involve concentrating on the rhythm of your breath, sensing each footfall during a stroll, or savoring every flavor and texture of a meal. The objective is to anchor your awareness to the immediate experience, free of judgment. Even work, when approached with mindfulness, can transform into a form of meditation. Certain activities, particularly those requiring deep focus, can usher us into a meditative state, an in-the-zone experience. This phenomenon, known as flow, is a mental state wherein one is fully immersed in a task, with a heightened focus and a sense of enjoyment in the process of the activity. Whether it's crafting a piece of art, solving a complex problem, or gardening, the act can be truly meditative when our whole attention is invested in the present moment. Similarly, creativity can serve as a meditative conduit. The act of creation, be it painting a canvas, writing poetry, or even cooking a meal, can become a process of meditation when our mind fully engages with the task at hand, free from distracting thoughts. The experience of being in the moment during these creative endeavors offers a profound sense of tranquility and fulfillment. At the extreme end of this spectrum, even sensual experiences such as tantric sex can be viewed as meditative. Here, the act goes beyond mere physical satisfaction and delves into a deeper spiritual connection where the participants are utterly absorbed in the present moment, merging mindfulness and pleasure. Such experiences serve to underline the powerful potential of the present moment when approached with full attention and mindfulness. Tantric sex represents a unique fusion of the physical and the spiritual, establishing itself as a potent form of meditation. Derived from ancient Hindu practices, it transcends the typical objectives of sexual interaction, striving instead for a deeper, more profound connection between partners. The aim isn't simply physical gratification but rather the creation of an intimate bond that encourages personal growth and a heightened sense of awareness. At the core of tantric sex is mindfulness, a focused attention on the present moment. Partners are encouraged to pay close attention to their senses, the feelings and sensations arising in their bodies, and the deep emotional bond they share. Every touch, every glance, and every breath is savored, imbued with deep significance. This concentration on the here and now helps participants to transcend the mental chatter often associated with everyday life, allowing them to fully immerse themselves in the experience. In this way, tantric sex mirrors meditation. Both practices invite us to live in the present, to eschew distracting thoughts of the past or future, and to fully engage with our current state of being. Both strive to enhance our perception of the world around us, cultivating a heightened sense of awareness and an appreciation for the beauty of existence. Thus, Tantric sex can be seen as a form of meditation, a practice that celebrates the present moment and the deep connections we share with our partners. Simple meditation stands as another effective tool for training the mind to reside in the present. A spectrum of practices exists, ranging from mindfulness and transcendental meditation to loving-kindness meditation, offering a choice for every individual's preference. Meditation serves to help quiet the constant chatter of the mind and bring our focus back to our current experience. In our digital era, a constant barrage of distractions can often scatter our attention, pulling us away from the present moment. It becomes essential, therefore, to limit these distractions. A useful strategy might involve allocating specific time slots to engage with emails or social media, instead of responding to every notification in real time. Acceptance forms a crucial aspect of living in the present. It's about acknowledging our emotions without judgment or resistance. If an emotion arises, instead of pushing it aside or attempting to modify it, we should allow it to exist as is. This acknowledgement and acceptance is a key step in being present with our current experience. A daily habit of expressing gratitude can serve as a powerful anchor to the present. This could take the form of maintaining a gratitude journal or simply taking a moment each day to mentally acknowledge the things we're thankful for. Such practices enable us to appreciate the present for all the positive aspects it holds. Connecting with nature offers an effective route to ground ourselves in the present. The simple act of walking in a park, gardening, or merely observing the natural world around us can draw our attention back to the present moment. It provides a sense of connection and grounding that can help us cultivate mindfulness. 
Finally, participating in physical activities like yoga or dance demands our full attention and can help guide our focus to the now. These practices require conscious movements and engagement, further enabling us to enhance our mindfulness. It's essential to remember that, as with any new skill, it takes time and patience to cultivate mindfulness. One should approach this journey with patience, celebrating small steps along the path to being fully present in the here and now. The ability to cultivate resilience and adaptability is a powerful benefit of focusing on the present moment. Life is replete with challenges and hardships, and it is in these moments of adversity that our capacity for resilience truly shines. By anchoring ourselves in the present, we develop the strength to face difficulties head-on, without being burdened by the weight of past regrets or overwhelmed by worries about the future. Instead of getting caught in a cycle of rumination or anxiety, we channel our energy into the current moment, drawing upon our inner resources and finding creative solutions to navigate the obstacles before us. When we embrace the present, we become attuned to the ever-changing nature of life. This heightened awareness enables us to adapt to new circumstances with greater flexibility and grace. We recognize that change is an intrinsic part of our existence, and rather than resisting or clinging to what was or what might be, we flow with the unfolding of the present moment. This adaptability allows us to let go of rigid expectations, embrace uncertainty, and find new pathways when the old ones become obstructed. By being fully present, we tap into our inherent resilience, opening ourselves to growth, and discovering the transformative power of embracing life's challenges as opportunities for personal evolution. Our perception of time evolves and transforms as we age and journey through the stages of life. In our youth, time seems expansive, stretching endlessly before us, brimming with possibilities and boundless horizons. Each day feels like a vast canvas awaiting our vibrant brushstrokes. As we grow older, however, the passing of time takes on a different hue. The once seemingly infinite expanse of our existence gradually contracts, and we become acutely aware of its fleeting nature. Time becomes more precious, its passage marked by milestones and memories that shape our identity and purpose. In the context of aging and life development, our perception of time can take on a dual nature. On one hand, the awareness of time's limitations can instill a sense of urgency, urging us to seize the present moment and make the most of our remaining years. It prompts us to reflect upon our accomplishments and contemplate the legacy we wish to leave behind. On the other hand, as we traverse the journey of life, our experiences accumulate, layering our existence with depth and wisdom. The passage of time becomes a testament to our growth, resilience, and ability to adapt. It is through the lens of this evolving perception of time that we gain insights into the ebb and flow of our own development, embracing the beauty and impermanence of each stage of life. Our perception of time is intricately intertwined with our experience of happiness. How we relate to the past, present, and future shapes our overall sense of well-being. When we live fully in the present moment, fully engaged and attuned to our surroundings, we open ourselves to the possibility of experiencing genuine happiness. The present moment becomes a canvas upon which we can paint the colors of joy, contentment, and gratitude. By immersing ourselves in the now, we relinquish the burdens of the past and the worries of the future, allowing us to savor the beauty and richness of each passing moment. This mindful presence cultivates a deeper sense of connection to ourselves, others, and the world around us, fostering a profound and lasting happiness that transcends the boundaries of time. However, the dichotomy between immediate gratification and delayed gratification can also influence our happiness. The desire for instant satisfaction often tempts us to indulge in impulsive behaviors or seek quick fixes for our desires. Yet, the consequences of such short-term indulgence can diminish our long-term happiness. On the other hand, the ability to delay gratification and exercise patience can lead to greater fulfillment in the future. By foregoing immediate pleasures and investing in long-term goals or relationships, we plant the seeds of happiness that bear fruit over time. Balancing the pursuit of immediate happiness with prudent consideration for the future can foster a more sustainable and holistic sense of well-being.